I want to take a second to show you how to read a yarn label that you might see on pretty much any kind of yarn. In this case, I'm looking at the Lily Sugar and Cream yarn, which is a good yarn for washcloths, that sort of thing, starter projects. It's a yarn that can be found in just about any craft store, like a Joanne or a Walmart, usually for about $2 in a variety of colors. So you may have this laying around, and this is how you would uh, typically look at the label when you go to the store. Um, first of all, you'll see that it will usually tell you the material that a yarn is made of. In this case, it says 100% cotton. Um, it might also have some yarn distribution information, like the, the product information, the website, that sort of thing, where it was made. Um, you'll also see things like color and dye lot. Um, now, in this case, you can see here that the color is a variegated uh, yarn, which means that it's multicolored. Um, and the color here looks like it is this... Uh, 0, 2, uh, 2, 3, 5, and then the dye lot looks like it's 1, 5, 2, 2, 8, 0. And in this project it wouldn't be important, but in a lot of projects something like dye lot is particularly important because if you're knitting something um, particularly in a solid color and you have multiple skeins of yarn that you're going to use, you want to make sure that you buy all of the yarn from the same dye lot because there could be a lot of differences between those. So you want to try to find the same dye lot. So you'll want to pay attention to that when buying multiple skeins of yarn. Um, the other really important information that you'll find on just about every yarn label is um, your little uh, yarn gauge chart. And that can be found right here. Um, you'll see that um, this is usually a 4 by 4 inch or 10 by 10 centimeters. Um, it will show you that uh, this yarn is 20 stitches um, every 4 inches, which means it's about, what is that, 5 stitches per inch. And um, that would be over 26 rows, um, would be 4 inches. Um, so you can kind of see the gauge there. Um, this would also tell you a lot about the weight of the yarn. Uh, anything um, that is a worsted weight is considered between 16 and 20 inches, so this is a worsted weight yarn. And you can see in the center there, um, the needles are uh, 7, size 7 US, 7 Canada, 4.5 millimeter, which would be the European conversion. You'll also see here, um, if you're crocheting, it has the crocheting hook information, which would also be a size 7, um, but for this intents and purposes, we're just looking at knitting. Um, the other thing that you'll find would be any of the care instructions for the yarn, so you'll see if you can wash it, if you can um, dry it, dry clean, that sort of thing. So that's a little bit about how you read um, a yarn label. Uh, I hope it's been helpful.